everyone talking about hot lux by raja the notes in this are prominently rose jasmine cinnamon oak moss benzoin vanilla orris labdanum and ambergris i believe this is the single most expensive fragrance that i've ever tried personally it goes for i think almost three thousand dollars usd maybe even more um and even putting that price aside like just totally ignoring any you know wow that's overpriced or type of factor like that this is just not something I would personally want to wear. It smells very clearly niche, but I don't mean that in a good way in terms of the like, you know, compliment or how good does it smell type of factor. Like, yes, the quality is there, but it's also the style of niche that's very much more kind of probably challenging to people who aren't into this very specific type of fragrance. Um, a lot of Raja's, most of them are pretty high quality to me. And even the ones that aren't my favorite, uh, yeah, they always pretty much smell high quality, but yeah, even the ones that aren't my favorite, usually I can still kind of see why they're appealing to some people. I guess it's not even that I can't see why someone would like this, but I just don't think it would appeal to a lot of people, and combined with the price, just <laughs> no way. I'm glad I tried it, because it's like fun to be able to be like, oh shit, like I tried like a $3,000 fragrance, but even just getting like a tiny sample of this was really, really expensive, so... I'll link in the description where you can get a bottle or a sample if you want to, you know, feel luxurious to try a $3,000 fragrance for the fun of it. Um, I think this would be more popular with people who prefer the type of fragrances that tend to be more stereotypically associated with being very mature leaning. Again, interesting to smell for the novelty of trying something so you know expensive and luxurious, but I would pass otherwise. It does have incredible longevity and great projection but I couldn't care less about that unless <laughs> I really, really like the scent to begin with. Otherwise, that's actually a downside to me. Uh, pretty unisex, I would say. And uh, yeah, I mean, looking, if I was just going by the notes, I would probably think that this would be something that I would really like. I'm not a big Rose fan, but pretty much everything else in here I like well enough for the most part, especially like Labdanum, you know, Vanilla, of course, like Benzoin, pretty simple stuff or whatever. But yeah, it's just, it definitely does feel fancy, but to me, it just goes so far into the fancy realm that it just feels, it, yeah, it goes above and beyond to just being like, like that's too far. So yeah, but uh, again, the, I would recommend checking it out just for the fun of like trying something so expensive, but it's absolutely, if we're going by scent, extremely, extremely overpriced. And I don't think something that most people would find very appealing to uh, smell.